in 2024, the final GTX 1060 was defeated. This is where we hold them. This is where we fight. We will never die. Remember this day, boys. Today we become legends. Legends of the budget GPU world. GTX, you must upgrade. Never. GTX forever. Come and get us. Gone forever. Or so we thought. Some remain, and now it is time for a comeback. The GTX 1060 has returned. Born again! It's been almost a year since I tried the GTX 1060. They're hard to find, but I found one in the wild. Let's take a closer look. So for those of you that don't remember, it was late 2023, early 2024, I was specifically testing all of the GTX 1060s. I was trying to overclock them. I tried the Strix, the MSI Gaming X, all the EVGA versions, I think. The single fan, the dual fan, the Zotac. Almost all of them, but there are so many, there was a limit. And what I found was that Overclocking them was kind of a chore. You could only overclock it so much. And the last one that I had, I sold. And I didn't realize at the time that that would be the last one I would ever see. I could never find one again. And now people want crazy prices for them if they're even available. And I had since moved on to the RX 580 and 1070, 1080s. But I found some inspiration. I found this YouTube channel called Trash Bench, where this guy, he actually did some crazy mods to some old GTX GPUs. He actually put a CPU cooler on a GPU which I remember thinking that would be kind of funny, but then I never did it because I had no way to mount it to the to the GPU, right? Plus, how would you put it in the case? And it was just... It, it was in my opinion that there would be no point because, you know, you can only do so much with the GTX 1060. It has physical limitations to how much you can overclock it. But he did that and was recognized by Tom's Hardware, Zach's Tech Turf, for being someone that really thinks outside of the box. And I really thought that was cool. So there's a link to his channel below if you want to check it out. But after I saw that, I thought, hmm, now I want to get back into the GTX realm because... After he posted the other videos, he posted a video where he attempted to overclock a 1060 versus a 970, and the 970 actually won. And I thought, wait a minute, the 1060 should be faster than the 970, right? It has more memory, it's newer. So I said, I want to get a 1060. So I looked for one. And I found one, a Zotac GTX 1060. I paid about 
it was a package deal, so I would say about $50 for it, which is very cheap. And I said, I know what I have to do. I have to give Trash Pinch a call and see if he wanted to do a challenge to see who could make the fastest GTX 1060 out there. And it's really difficult because it's a very limited like I said, space of what you can do to a GTX 1060. And so we made the challenge. And I'm not sure what his results are yet. I'm just posting mine. So I did Furmark. And here's the result of the stock configuration, just the way it comes. And then I overclocked it using basically my settings from the previous overclock that I did a long time ago. And then here's that score. And I beat, I think, the, the fastest score that I've ever had on a 1060. But the thing is, now the computer that it's in is faster. So I don't know if that actually matters or not. It shouldn't matter, but I think it does a little bit. But one thing that's interesting is that he uses Fire Strike, and I never did use Fire Strike until the very end of testing. I always use Furmark, Superposition, and Time Spy. Fire Strike is older, which matches the older GPUs, right? So since that that's what he was using, he was able to get the number one spot of a GTX 1060. So then I was thinking, okay, well, I have to at least challenge that, right? Even if I don't win. So I started overclocking it. I did the usual thing, but it's very finicky. It It's hard to get it to go more than what it can. If you overclock it too much, it actually runs slower. And then when you put in the memory overclock, it's very difficult to get it to be stable unless it's really cool. And so what the challenge was that we made is we're going to have a challenge of who can get the fastest score. That's one point. Who can cool the GPU the most, which is his forte. That's another point. And then the third point is creativity. So whoever does the most wacky, janky sort of solution to cool it down also gets a point. So he has an advantage in this way, but you know me, I have to try. So I don't have the final score here. This is the result of just the card as it is with fresh thermal paste and thermal pads. And I just overclocked it as, as far as it would go. Just, I just kept throwing numbers at it, throwing numbers at it. Um, he made the rule that you cannot overclock the voltage more than what it will allow. I was originally doing that, but I found out actually that if I didn't overclock the voltage, it actually ran faster. So that was interesting. So here is the Fire Strike score original. Here is the Fire Strike score with just maximum power settings. And then this was the best score that I was able to achieve maxed out I'm sure there's more left in the tank but it just it just wouldn't I tried it over and over and over and it just wouldn't go more on this particular card so we'll have probably have a, a second round here because I didn't mod the card and I assume that he's going to mod his card I think he already did and he's going to be re releasing his video also this weekend so check that out but I received what I think was the highest score. The highest score I could find in Fire Strike for the graphics part only was 14,000. And I was able to hit 14,095. But I think he beat that. 
So we'll see. So let the challenge begin. Who do you think is going to win in the end? He might get me the first time, but you know me, I don't back down. So Trash Bench, it's your turn. We'll see you online. This is not over.